WTFNN. Headline news update. Good afternoon, everybody. I'm Tommy O'Brien, coming to you live from TFNN headquarters in St. Petersburg, Florida. 1 p.m. Eastern time on Monday, three hours left to go in the trading day. We have a relatively calm market to start off trading. Dow Jones positive by 90 points, trading at 25,361. S&Ps in the positive by two points, trading at 2726. And the NASDAQ down 75 points. 75 points or just more than 1% trading at 72.81. Got some action in oil up 19 cents at 63.33. Oil, uh, excuse me, gold off $1 trading at 12.32 and the dollar index off 128 ticks trading at 96.21. We'll start things off. Let's jump over to the Nadex platform. Take a look at some of the futures markets with three hours left to go in the first trading day of the week. Currently trading 25,317 in the Dow, almost made it up to 25,400 about an hour ago. From there, we're off about 85 points in the Dow. NASDAQ 100, quite a different story. So the sell-off really beginning at 9.30 on the opening bell. We're looking at a five-minute chart here in the NASDAQ 100. We trade from 69.69 all the way down to a low of 68.65. From there, you have it up a bit, trading at 68.93. Tough day for Apple. We'll jump over to that chart in a moment, but definitely putting some weight to the negative side in the NASDAQ and NASDAQ 100. S&P 500 bouncing around in both directions. Lows for the session made it about 27.17 just after 10 a.m. From there, we're up a bit, trading at 27.26. Crude oil market with volatility in both directions as well. We trade from about 62.60 all the way up to a high of 64.11, and that was at about 11 a.m. Eastern time a couple hours ago. From there, you have crude pulling back a bit, 63.44. Of course, fundamental news out there today, Iran sanctions going back into place this morning, so that, of course, could affect that oil market. Gold contract with volatility as well, currently trading at 1231.57. And Bitcoin, pretty tame market for Bitcoin. This actually being a daily chart, just illustrating, going back all the way September 5th, two months ago, the last time we got a really big move on a daily basis, digging it down to a five minute chart, putting things in perspective. We were up there earlier to about 64.34. Bitcoin currently trading, we'll pull it up 63.98. In terms of what else you have happening in the market, we touched on it. Apple getting a downgrade for the second time and also news breaking that they are canceling the boost that they had for production planned for their lowest cost budget iPhone. And to jump over to that chart this morning, and first Lowe's flat, Lowe's closing 51 stores as well today announcing in North America and Apple down 3.6%. Stay tuned folks, Steve Rhodes coming up right now, then Dave White, Tom O'Brien this afternoon. Have a great Monday.